Hi, I'm Susan Rising. I am the great-great-granddaughter of Philip Rising, who owned this house at one point. I'm going to talk about these two paintings here in the corner. This is Charles Morris Rising. He was born in 1856, and he was the third child of Philip Rising and his fifth wife, Susan Sterling. He had an older sister, Mary Ellen, age seven, and an older brother, William Sterling, age four. Unfortunately, Charles's mother, Susan, died two months after he was born in December of 1856. So in 1858, Philip married Carrie, Carolyn Troth McBride, better known now as Carrie Rising. And then they had two children, Emma Ida, born in 1859, and George Philip, who's in this painting, born in 1860. So in 1871, Charles contracted typhoid fever and died at the age of 14 years. In 1872, Harry and Philip bought this house and moved in here with their four surviving children. We think that Philip brought that painting probably with him and hung it in this house, and it never left this house. George Philip lived in this house until 18, 1889, when he married Lena Bell Wright. They were married in London and then moved to 143 West Fifth Avenue. They had two children. George Leslie was born in 1890, but he was born with encephalitis or water on the brain, and he died at four months. Then they had a second child, Francis Russell Rising, born in 1892, and that was my grandfather. In 1890, 95, when George, when Francis Russell was age three, Lena Bell had a miscarriage and died. On her deathbed, she made George Philip promise that he would, if he were to remarry, he would let his sister Ida and her husband H.B. Peters raise Francis Russell, their son. As a result, George Philip never remarried. So in 1895, he moves back into this house, so he wasn't gone for long, and with his family to live with his sister and her husband and their family. This is a picture of George Philip and his young son, Francis Russell. Not sure what age he was, but it's a cute picture of the two of them. So as far as a career, George Philip started his career in Columbus as a partner of a pharmaceutical firm, but his father, Philip, convinced him that he needed to join the family business, so he eventually came to Fairfield National Bank and was and eventually became its president. Then in 1909, he was a charter member of the Lancaster Country Club. He also was responsible for the first playground equipment in the Rising Park, and in 1930 contributed $10,000 to build the Rising Shelter. He lived in this house until 1940, at the ripe old age of 80, uh, when we think he probably moved in with his, his son, and then he died in 1944 at the age of 83. This painting... Phil, George Philip was about somewhere between 15 and 17, somewhere in that age range. And we do not know who the artist is or anything about it beyond that. Um, but that was originally would have been hung in this house. And then it moved over to my grandparents' house the high, on Main Street. And then from there, it went to my parents' house and to my house. And then when the Decorative Arts Center was dedicated... I loaned it to them so that George Phillip could come home.